So, in the previous lecture, uh, we talked about uh, image quality and we have seen what are those parameters uh, which control the quality of the image and we have talked about parameters uh, related to the film and the parameters uh, related to the source also. Okay. But when you actually uh, do radiographic uh, testing and take the image and finally, when you develop the image and then inspect it, on the image how do you know when you are actually seeing it, how do you know whether the image quality is good or not. Okay? Because even if you have maintained all the right parameters, when the image is actually processed and developed there you do not uh, really know, you do not really have any indications uh, which can tell you that the image quality is the right quality that you wanted. Okay. So, that means you need something on the image which will indicate uh, the quality of the image. Okay. So, that is what we are going to talk about right now, the image quality indicators. Okay, so, this is to check the validity and the quality of the image whether the image is acceptable or not. And there are different kinds of uh, image quality indicators uh, which are in use. So, let us talk about those one by one. The first one that you have uh, is ASTM placard type or hole type. So, this image quality indicators are abbreviated as IQI and the commonly used name for this is penetrometer. People also commonly call them as penetrometer okay. and there are different types which we are going to talk about right now. So, this ASTM hole type indicator what you have, you have a small thin sheet of material. on which you have number of holes and the size of these holes are according to the thickness of this sheet. Let us say the thickness uh, of this uh, metal sheet uh, is T. So, the diameter of this uh, bigger hole is uh, 4 times T. This is uh, 1 T and this is 2 T. Okay. So, this is how it is made. So, it is a very thin sheet of uh, thin sheet of a metal on which you have these holes with this kind of size. And the thickness of this uh, penetrometer T is in terms of uh, the percentage of thickness of the sample. Okay. For example, this thickness T can be 2 percent of sample thickness. And in this you may also see this kind of letters indicated. So, that will indicate uh, the material 
of this uh, particular penetrometer. Okay. So, you have to choose the same material as your sample like uh, I would have told this before also then uh, while talking about calibration. So, this is also a kind of calibration which, uh, which does not really calibrate the instrument, but it tells you whether the parameters of the instruments were correct or not when the image was captured. Okay. So, in this case also uh, this reference which is the penetrometer in this case the material of that should be same as the material of the sample. Okay. So, in this case uh, that is why the material is also indicated on the penetrometer. So, here you could see uh, this kind of letters like A L or A F E which will indicate that it is either made of aluminum on or iron. Okay. So, according to your sample material you sh should select uh, a penetrometer uh, made of the same material. So, it, this is a small piece uh, which can be kept uh, in a corner of the sample in a region which is not of uh, your interest and image this penetrometer along with the sample. Okay. So, that is uh, what is done. Keep this IQI on the sample itself in a corner or in some uh, region which is uh, not of interest and image it along with the sample. So, this image of the IQI and the image of the sample will be on the same x-ray film. And even before you see the image of the sample when you finally develop the image, you first see the image of this IQI. And in this particular case when you have used a hole type IQI, you see which hole is prominently uh, visible on the radiographic image. Okay. So, let us say uh, for the image that you have taken uh, this uh, shadow of the 2D hole is uh, clearly visible. and uh, you have uh, used an IQI whose uh, thickness is uh, 2 percent of sample thickness. So, the image quality in this case uh, will be indicated by 2 2 t in this manner. Okay. So, a 2 2 t image quality indicates that uh, a 2 percent material loss can be uh, clearly visible on the radiograph which is imaged by using these parameters. Okay. Similarly, you might uh, see uh, other kind of uh, indications also uh, other kind of image quality also like uh, you can see uh, 1 1 t. Uh, 1, 2 t and all this. So, this is how uh, the quality of the image uh, would indicate in terms of uh, these letters which in turn indicates a sensitivity level like for in this case we saw it was uh, 2 percent. right? Accordingly for the other image qualities also that you see uh, there is a sensitivity level. So, if you uh, see the image quality for the other kind of uh, hole indications, so the equivalent uh, 2 2 t uh, image quality for the other holes will be like this in terms of the uh, sensitivity. If it is uh, 1 1 t, uh, 
So, this sensitivity is in terms of percent. So, for 1 1 t it is 0 0.7, for 1 2 t it is uh, 1 percent, for 2 1 t it is 1.4 percent, 2 2 t we have seen it is uh, 2 percent, 2 4 t it is uh, 2.8 percent, 4 2 t it is 4 percent. So, like this for different combinations of uh, the thickness of the penetrometer and uh, the hole which is uh, clearly visible on the radiograph, uh, these are the sensitivity levels uh, which are specified. So, this is how with the help of this uh, you know uh, you would be able to know the image quality and there will be a requirement uh, for a particular image. For example, somebody might tell you that I want a 2 2 t image quality. So, that means, uh, he is asking for a 2 percent sensitivity, but uh, this may not be the case all the time other kind of image qualities are also uh, you know asked for depending on the requirements like you might want to have 1, 2 t, 2, 4 t and other qualities also. Then you have uh, this kind of uh, wire type uh, penetrometers. So, like in the previous case the uh, size of the hole indicates the quality of the image. In this case, you have a set of wires of particular sizes and the size of the wire will uh, tell you the quality of the image. Okay. So, in this case what you have? You have a set of wires uh, sandwiched uh, between uh, two plastic sheets. and the diameter of the uh, wires increase or decrease in a particular order. So, this generally increases in a GP series. So, what you have basically in this case, uh, you will see something like this. Uh, I have a penetrometer which I am going to show you, uh, I have a piece of it. So, this uh, looks like this, uh, something like this. So, this is the plastic sheet and inside this you would uh, see a set of wire generally uh, 7 wires we will see. And from one end uh, the diameter of the wire will increase uh, in a GP series like this. Okay. So, this will uh, gradually increase. So, you have wires uh, which are given numbers according to their size uh, either increasing size or decreasing size. So, you have wires number from uh, 1 to 16 and according to the standard that you are using this will be either uh, increasing as you increase the number or decreasing. For example, if you are using uh, ISO standard.
this will uh, increase as you uh, increase the number of the wire. And if you uh, use the DIN standard, the construction wise again it will be same, we will have a set of wires uh, from small size to bigger sizes. But in that case, uh, the order is decreasing that means, as you uh, increase the number of the wire, the diameter decreases. Okay. So, in one case one standard ISO standard it is increasing order and in the DIN standard it is decreasing order. For example, you could have uh, wires from 1 to 7 in this series and this will have for the DIN standard it will have uh, 3.2 mm for the number 1 wire and as you increase the number it will decrease and finally, for the smallest wire it is 0.8 mm which is number 7. For the ISO standard it is just the opposite it is uh, increasing. So, in that case number 1 wire will be 0.8 mm and as you increase the number of the wires it will the diameter will increase and for that case uh, number 7 will be 3.2 mm. Okay. So, what you do this is again a small piece uh, like this what I am holding over here. So, as you could see right there are a number of wires uh, 7 wires you can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and you would also be able to see as you increase the number of the wires in this case the diameter increases. So, this tells you this is as per the ISO standard and you could see here that is written ISO is written over here. And here there are uh, 7 wires uh, which are numbered from 10 to 16 as you could see that is also written over here. Okay. So, this is the penetrometer ISO 10 to 16 having 7 wires from number 10 to number 16. And uh, the corresponding uh, uh, DIN standard is written over here. Okay. And there you also would be able to see the material of these wires uh, which is written at the end over here. So, in this case it is written Fe that means these wires are made of iron. So, this has to be used for uh, ferrous materials or the steels okay, iron and steel. Right, so, this is how the whole thing is made and what you do uh, you have the sample holder like this. Okay. Uh, this is known as a cassette, uh, this we will uh, talk about uh, sometime later. So, uh, inside this uh, you will have the uh, film, when you open this uh, you can keep the film inside this. Okay here. So, keep the film here then uh, you can close it uh, which is closed in the dark room itself uh, to protect the film from exposure to light and then your sample uh, will be here somewhere and you keep this in a corner and image with the sample like that like what we did for the hole type indicator. Okay. In the hole type indicator case we saw which hole was visible clearly on the radiograph and in this case we will see uh, which wire is clearly visible and uh, the quality will be indicated by the number of the smallest wire which is clearly indicated on the radiograph. Okay. So, this is how in this case the uh, uh, film quality will be indicated which is the uh, number of like in this case we have used uh, 10 to 16 that number series. So, you see uh, the number of uh, the thinnest or the smallest uh, wire which is uh, visible.
Okay, so, this is how in this case uh, the number of that particular uh, thinnest wire uh, which is clearly uh, distinguishable on the x-ray image uh, will indicate uh, the quality of the image. Okay. And uh, there is a relationship by which uh, this uh, quality which is provided by this number can be converted uh, to an equivalent uh, quality for the whole type kind of quality. Okay. So, this can be converted into a 2, 2 t kind of uh, quality through that particular relationship. And that uh, relationship uh, is like this. where f is a constant uh, which is known as a form factor d is the wire diameter l is the effective length of the wire T is uh, hole type uh, IQI thickness and this is H is the hole diameter. So, you could see a relationship uh, between the hole diameter and the thickness of the hole type penetrometer and the diameter and length of the wire and through this you would be able to convert uh, a wire type uh, quality into a hole type image quality. For example, you can convert this wire diameter into an equivalent uh, 2, 2 t type uh, image quality with the help of uh, this kind of tables. which is uh, derived based upon that equation. And the sensitivity or uh, the image quality would depend on the specimen thickness. So, this can be taken either in millimeter or inches. For a sample thickness for example of uh, 6.35 mm, the wire that should be visible clearly for a 2, two t type image quality should be of uh, 0.1 mm diameter. Similarly, for 9.5 mm sample thickness the wire diameter should be 0 0.13 mm. For 13 mm, it should be 0 0.16. For 16, it should be 0 0.12 and so on. Okay. So, this is how uh, a wire type uh, image quality can be 
converted into an equivalent two two T type of image quality with the help of this table, which is based upon uh, the previous equation that we uh, derived. Okay, so this was uh, all about image quality. So we have seen and understood uh, what are those parameters which can uh, which will control the quality of the image. And just now we have also seen uh, how the image quality can be indicated uh, for the end user to see whether the quality of the image is acceptable or not, which can be done by using this kind of penetrometers or image quality indicators, which are known as IQI. Okay. So, with this uh, I am going to stop here today and I will see you next time with the rest of the things that we have for this particular technique. Thank you for your attention.